<laughs> Greetings from the Eurycosis is Mad Shad. <laughs> On this wonderful Monday, Sunday, I forget the day. Uh, <laughs> it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's, it feels like spring out there. It's like 60 something degrees out there. Still wet, but eh, whatever. Still a good day. Tell you about those who did not have a good day. Those Americans that are trapped in Afghanistan left there by Trader Joe's militias slash head covered regime. At least we forget that 13 servicemen and women died at Abigate, Kabul, Afghanistan, along with two other poor souls, three plus people lost arms and legs and limbs. Things that don't grow back, a lot of them were service members as well. Every day, never forget and never forget whose fault this is. Deploy knife hands. But there was hope. Folks getting him out. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project X's Project Databook, Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. Yeah. And at least we forget that there are still 200 plus individuals incarcerated over the J6 debacle, held there as political prisoners without bail, without sentencing, in solitary confinement, and torturous conditions. Someone lost an eye. There have been multiple suicides. A lot of moms and dads are displaced, a lot of families. Every day, never forget and never forget whose fault this is. And yes, deploy many more knife hands. But there's hope. Thousands of people, family, friends, loved ones, charitable organizations, even some uh, uh, congressmen, senators, and uh, representatives getting into the fray. You know, people providing uh, care packages for their their defense fund. Uh, care packages for them, yeah, charitable organizations providing care packages, uh, defense fund, and financial assistance for the displaced families, right? So, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, uh, well, we survived Christmas. <laughs> it's just one day. Now get back to work. Uh, no, uh, that's yeah, for some people, uh, the end of Christmas is a relief. It's like, Oh, thank God that's over because of all the, the, the preparation that's involved, you know, in Christmas. I mean, lots of, lots of work. It's a lot of work to pull off Christmas in one night. Uh, just ask Santa. He's got a deliver. He, he's, he's got one of the craziest delivery systems in the world. He delivers presents to the whole world in one night. Mm. Wow. I mean, imagine that, uh, you know, uh, if if Amazon and and, and all them and, and and FedEx knew knew that system, uh, you know, they would it'd be crazy. So uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, something about something something uh, potato is is threatening Iran and Yemen and Lebanon and okay, whatever. Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, uh, do I do I do I really fucking care at this point? great i mean yeah i mean it's whatever uh they're gonna do what they're gonna do it's just up to us to do what we need to do you know and that's to carry on with our lives you know they 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 want to uh they want to uh uh change all that and and so war is a way of doing that it's a it's a way of uh turning in your your freedom for a security which you should never do right Dangerous freedom over over uh, you know safety, uh, safety and security is it should be the top priority of most Americans. You know, and we we talk about financial security and that we could really go down the rabbit hole there. But you know, uh, you know, I I think it, more and more people are waking up and the the veil is being lifted. The apocalypse. I, I think that's what that means. The apocalypse actually means lifting of the veil. And, uh, you know, all you Christians out there, you can quote the Bible. I don't know the verses and stuff, but yeah, all things will be known. All things will be known uh, during this time. And I, I think that's happening. <laughs> you know, uh, age of information. Well, you know, if, if nothing, uh, everything hidden will become, will come to light at some point in time. You know, it's just the way it is. Uh, you know, just you know, either it's perfect timing or it's bad timing. <laughs> and then how you process that information. Right? Uh, so, anyway. Uh, go Team Linda. Go Team Linda. Fuck cancer. She is kicking ass, taking names, getting stronger by the day. It's been Mad Shad. Every day, never forget.